What is up guys and welcome to our next game of Kate Point 1 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to do some stuff on uh, working directories and how we can uh, import sprites into our, into our game. Uh, this can also be used for things such as uh, music files for soundtracks and such or backgrounds or any scripts that we want, any uh, variables in a notepad file. So uh, yeah we, don't, we actually don't need any sprites for this uh, for this uh, tutorial, all we need is our object, and this is going to be object control. Now I want to add an event and add a create event to start with. Add a code. Uh, pfft, add a code. Um, <laughs> add some. Um, add an execute code function, and all we really need uh, to start with is this sprite add function, and this is what actually uh, uh, imports the sprite. Now the file name is the most important thing because this is what this is where the game maker this game maker file is going to uh, look for in terms of uh, where the sprite is. So we're going to leave that for now, uh, and we'll get get onto that in uh, in a second. Now the image number we just leave that as zero. We don't need to worry about that. Remove back. Um, normally for the sprites that we're going to do, we don't need to remove back, but you can select it if you want. It just removes any background color that you need, so that it's, it's not showing up as just a, a square thing, uh, w which all uh, image canvases are. Um, so the smooth, we don't want smooth because it's, it's it's fine. We, we're going to be using simple sprites, so we don't need that. The origin, you can set the origin if you want. So say if you have a 32 by 32 image file you can set the origin to 16 by 16 so uh, it'll be in the center but we don't need that because we're not, we're not going to be doing a lot of that so just put zero and zero and then close your bracket so now back to the file name this is the most important thing but to do this we need directory so first we'll save this into a directory now this is where we're going to save it this is from my desktop go into my GameAku tutorial stuff my new folder that I created alongside my football and just saves and my programs and now this contains another tutorial which uh, has already come out I think and then uh, my directory file now this game maker file is just going to be called um, directory tutorial that's what it's going to be called so that so now once I save it here it'll be saved here so we're going to be looking into looking into that directory thing for a sprite that we put into it now the sprite that we put into it, if I go in here, <coughs> sorry about that, if I go into here and go into our directory, you can see that I have already got a sprite, and it's called player. So we're going to be getting that into this game by importing it into the thing. So now that we've done that, we first need to put, before these speech marks, working directory. And this gets our current working directory. So we could make the sprite and just put it and just not put it inside the folder but putting it inside a folder makes it easier to uh, to manage in terms of workspace which is something I've been learning about a lot in college um, yeah so putting it in folders makes it uh, a lot easier for to find things and a lot easier to manage your uh, your files that you create so now what you need to put is working directory plus plus slash directory and then slash and then we want our player that's the name of our image and we also want the extension so mine's a PNG so say if yours was a, maybe a JPEG so you'd put play.jpg I think or jpeg I think it's just uh, jpg uh, sorry about that but now this should uh, import our sprite but this actually doesn't set a name for it so it'll be a really weird name that we won't know so like uh, we basically need to store this sprite into a variable which is basically a sprite name so we're going to set this out just like we would uh, name a sprite normally. So just put sprite player equals. So now the sprite that we've currently ported is going to be on our sprite player. So now we've done that, we add an event, we draw it. Now first I'm just going to show you how to do it. So it's just a simple draw sprite function. Same as before as always. 64, 64 we want to save it and then play oh I need a room sorry about that and there we go that's a sprite obviously it's a lot bigger but it doesn't really matter about that um, yeah so we've imported that sprite there's no sprites in here 
Oh, um, no, please don't remove them. That was weird. Have I... Oh, I must have moved the uh, control object out of the room. Yeah, there it is. I don't know how that happened. Never mind, let's move it back. That's fine. So, unfortunately with directories uh, and GameMaker, well, with any programming language to be honest, it will throw an error if it can't find Sprite Player, which, if you haven't set up the uh, the importing thing right, it can happen a lot, and it can ruin the games and ruin, you, ruin your motivation to carry on with a project because of it, because you're just getting so confused with, what do these errors mean, and how do I fix them? Well, don't worry, it's super easy. Because all you need to do is just type, if Sprite exists, Sprite exists, Sprite player. And then, once that's done, in fact, you need to put that in speech marks, because th otherwise it'll set it as a, uh, it'll see sp the uh, sprite play when there's a variable and not a string. So that's a string, so it'll look for that string in a sprite. Uh, if the sprite does exist, we want it to draw the sprite. Else, we want it to uh, show a message, and we want it to display the message error with an exclamation point, just for the added effect and want to game game to end, because if we don't uh, make the game end, then it'll just carry on showing the message and then we won't be able to end the game, which I've done countless times, so don't worry if you do that a few times in uh, when you're using GameMaker. But yeah, just to see this, we'll first see it working as normal. So we'll just play it, and obviously our sprite's there. So now let's say if we change this and change the capital letter so it's just play it. remember capital letters count a lot for sprites so, oh it actually still worked never mind <laughs> never mind my last comment doesn't matter so change that and look ever when we don't have it right so apparently capital letters <laughs> I've spent this whole time thinking that capital letters mean the thing when in fact they probably don't never mind um, Oh, it doesn't in the GML language anyway. In a uh, more high level language like C++ and uh, say uh, Action Script, which I'm using right now for my college course, we use that. And capital letters do count for a lot. So just for the act of uh, if you want to get into programming, mem remember them capital letters, even if it doesn't apply to this specific language that we're currently using. So anyway, moving on. That's our uh, our to-do list. Um, yeah. So obviously it displays an error. And that's because our thing is right, but this is good because otherwise it would just throw up a random error and it'll just cancel the game straight away. But this is good because now we know what the error is. We know that, you know, say, say if we just put error, can't find sprite player. So now once we've done that, error can't. So now we know that the game can't find sprite player and we know the specific reason why it can't. And we know how to fix it because all we need to do is just look at our import and look. Oh, someone put play and not player. So now, once we do that, it can find the sprite. And once we do that, it works. So, this is just a nice, easy way of just managing your files correctly. And obviously, just um, freeing up the uh, executable file that your, ga that your game make file will have. And it can't. It's such games like Minecraft. They have um, the reason the modding community is so good on that is because you can change the textures just by editing a a, a picture file, because that's what it does. It imports that texture file and it looks for sp specific things on that texture file. Well, you can do that in here. You can just get a sprite, and instead of having it in here where no one can edit it, you can have it out there and people can edit it and it'll work in the game without any problems. So yeah. Now that I'm off my rant, sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is how you do uh, directories, and this can be used for a lot of things. Instead of a uh, sprite add, you can use sound add, I think. I think it's sound add. Yeah, sound add. There we go, file name kind preload. You can do it with uh, backgrounds as well. Background add. And that applies, there we go, on the bottom. That applies for the same thing as well. You know, you can, uh, that could work for a player.png as well. It really works with anything, and that's what's so good about it. So, um, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like and comment 
it's always nice to see comments. I always reply to them anyway. So thank you very much for that. You can subscribe if you want. I will be uploading tutorial every week. You saw my to do uh, to do list, which you probably should have seen, but you know, um, it, it doesn't matter anymore. Um, yeah, they're, they're already on a comment. Uh, that's the ones that I'm going to be doing over the next month or so. So you'll see one of them every week. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching them. So subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching again, and uh, goodbye.